Hey Jamie, I was wondering if you could help me settle one of my age-old Twitter debates. Who is better, John Stones or Kurt Zuma? I'd have to say John Stones. I think John Stones is one of the best young defenders in the world. I actually think he could go to Barcelona or Real Madrid anywhere. I think he's a top-class player. Hi Jamie, just wondering, if you could have played with any of the current Spurs first team, which player would you have loved to have played with and why? I'd have to say Deli Ali. I think he would have complimented me really well in midfield. Really good young player. Got a little bit of Steven Gerrard about him. Box to box, can score goals. Looks a fantastic young player. Very impressed with him and also off the pitch as well. He looks the real deal. I think I'd like to have played alongside him, but also Harry Kane as well is the obvious one. Jamie, when you're a little boy playing football out in the garden, who is better, you or Frank Lampard? That's a good question. By the way, I was much better than Frank Lampard. Don't worry about that. My granddad was a carpenter and I remember he built this um, bird cage. And Frank and I would say, spend hours out there trying to hit it before we could come in for dinner. So, little man, make sure you do your practice as well. But that was what we did all the time. But yeah, I was better than Frank, but unfortunately he won more medals than me. Probably got more money than me. But apart from that, it's fine. Jamie, are you scared of weasels? Weasels? I don't like weasels. There's a lot of weasels about and you've got to be careful of weasels. That's a really good question. Question for Jamie. What was the best stadium you ever played at in your football career? Uh, my favourite stadium... Well, saying that, I was I got injured there all the time. I loved playing at Wembley, but I, um, I broke my ankle at Wembley. I tore my hamstring at Wembley, so I missed a lot of football. I lost the FA Cup at Wembley. Strange one, I used to love playing at the Dell at Southampton because I always used to feel like I should score there. I'd have to say Wembley. Oh, it's the home of football and it's always a special place to play. Hi Jamie, me and James' question to you is, would you ever become a manager uh, and follow Gary Neville? If so, who would be the assistant manager? I think the Thierry-Jamie combo would work. Would I ever become a manager? At the moment, I don't know. Obviously, I'm not as brave as Gary Neville because he's made a big leap into the unknown, but I'm sure he'll do really well. I, I think you can make a good assistant. You seem quite forthright in your opinions. I like the way you just switched off that computer when you finished. Who else? I'd have to take my dad, I'd be involved. I think he'd be director of football, though he said he doesn't like directors of football. Cara, Jamie would be good. Thierry could do a little bit of work with the, the forwards, getting them scoring goals. Graham Sooners could teach the players how to kick people. Probably my missus get her involved as well, because she knows how to boss people about. She's a bit of a bossy one. Jamie, who's your favourite Game of Thrones character and why? I can't lie, I used to watch Game of Thrones, but believe this or not, and, and I do sound like a bit of a baby, I watched about three series and I had a sleeping problem. I couldn't sleep after it. And then I, and my wife said to me, why don't we stop watching it for a while and see if you can start sleeping again? Because I'm not very good at seeing people getting their heads cut off and things like that. And since then, I've been sleeping like a baby. So Tyrion, yeah, he's funny. I like him a lot, but he used to scare me as well. My question for Jamie Redknapp, what was it like having your dad as a professional footballer and um, famous when you were younger? What did you like your, all your mates sing? Yeah, I suppose it was always a bit odd when your dad's the manager of, of the club where you live. But no, he was a, he was it was good. I always just got used to it. I always had famous people like George Best would when he played for ball would come down come over for dinner and Bobby Moore when we lived in America. That was a brilliant environment to grow up in. Jamie, when you're in the working man's club in Mark of Aizen, what's your karaoke choice? Oh yeah! <laughs> It's actually, it has, it, I've been in there with him before. Now, I do like Market Raisins. It's probably one of my favourite places apart from Barbados. Superstition by Stevie Wonder on, that's my, that's my track. Oi Costa, you ain't played for us again. Never 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 again.